Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone as we brought across to some gymnastics. There are track and field, swimming, and even triathlon pairs have for decades showcased their talents on the Carifta platform at different age groups. And now gymnasts will have a similar opportunity with the inaugural Carifta Gymnastics Championship set for November 29 and 30 at the National Indoor Sports Center in Kingston, Jamaica. We are now joined by the president of the Jamaica Gymnastics Association, Nicole Grant. She will share about uh, the championship and the uh, country's hosting duties. Nicole, welcome to the Sportsman Zone. I see you on television all the time. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the first time that I'm physically in your company. I and I, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be embracing your presence. Thanks for having me, and I'm very happy to be here. Lovely studio. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, as we just said, um, Carifta, from a sporting standpoint, has for a long time showcased yes. track and field swimmers, in more recent times, triathlon competitions and so on. Gymnastics is a growing sport in the Caribbean. We haven't had too many Olympic representatives in the past no. coming from this region. We've had a few, but I see the work that you're doing with elevating the sport in the country. And now you're um, uh, inviting your, your Caribbean colleagues to be a part of this championship. First of all, how many teams are expected to be in for the Carifta uh, Gymnastics Championships and how are preparations going? Well, first of all, I'm really very happy that we are able to consider hosting the Carifta Gymnastics because as you said in your preamble, Carifta has been around for a long time but gymnastics has never been a part of it. Mm. And that's for reasons based on the technicality of the sports and the expense in terms of the equipment and all of that that has to be um, ready and available and of the right standard in order to host an event of this nature. So Jamaica was very happy that after the Pan Am Championships last year, it was very successful. We had countries from all over the Pan Am region, which is a bigger region than the Carifta region. And they were impressed with the way in which we hosted that um, event, as well as the fact that we have the equipment for the women that is of the right standard to host uh, Carifta Championships. So we met as a, as a basically a committee within the Caribbean, all the Caribbean nations who are part of the Carifta. We met here in Jamaica last year at, during the Pan Am Championships. And we brainstormed and considered that, I mean, Carifta is something that we should be a part of a long time ago. So we decided that how we're going to host, we, call, we, we um, also had dialogue with the Pan American Gymnastics Union, which is a body that we are a part of, we are affiliated to. And we saw how we could actually host the Carifta Championships, which is really to help with the development of gymnastics look, um, in, the, in the region. Mm -hmm. Because as you know, this region, even though we're a part of the Pan Am, we are way behind. And yeah. the Caribbean is even further behind mm -hmm. than some of the other, especially the Spanish speaking and yeah. the Latin American region. Mm -hmm. So this would be definitely a boost for us to showcase not only our talent, but also our administrative ability to host events of this nature. Yeah, two questions. I know TNT and Jamaica have had gymnast, gymnasts at the Olympics before. I would suspect those two, well, Jamaica's host, obviously, but Trinidad may be one of the teams being involved. Any, any, yes. any other team? So from? we have currently about six teams at the moment that is being considered and have been at the meeting and who have already agreed that they would be a part of the, 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 the um, event. Trinidad, Barbados, Bahamas, Bermuda, Jamaica, of course, mm -hmm. and um, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Oh, that's excellent. And you we're looking at Cayman. Cayman as well was also here. Um, and we're, in, we're also inviting Haiti, Aruba, and a few other countries yeah. that have the similar yeah. um, development type as we do. Yeah. So you, you just mentioned that based on your hosting of the Pan Am Championship, yes. the, the organizers were impressed with the facilities and that the equipment and so on met the standards for the yes. competition. Uh, I take it then that the Carifta event will be endorsed by the World Association 
it would it it, 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 it it qualifies to be endorsed by a global the global channel. Well, that's where we're heading. We first have to host, invite them so that they can um, see what is happening, how we organize. Um, but it would not just take one hosting yeah. because currently we you, the first one is here in Jamaica the next one will be in another um, country and so on and we are we're affiliated to the Panam so they first would you know decide assess. and assess, yeah, assess yeah. and make recommendations to the International Gymnastics Federation though we will be inviting persons from the International Gymnastics Federation to be here so that like they as, can as observers and, yes and they have been here in the past and that is a part of the booth that even got us the Pan Am championships to host because right. they have seen how our facility and they have seen how we have been working hard to develop the sport and you know they were very impressed and and that is one of the reasons why we were able to host the Pan Am championships in the first place yeah you mentioned facility the National Indoor Sports Center yes. um, is it ready or will there need to be work done in order to get it ready for November? Well, currently, based on the last championships that we had in, in December, early December, the, the, the venue was fine. It was okay. Lighting was great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering why you're emphasizing that. Good, good but, to know. But, but, but go that ahead, just but shows she was listening to our first interview. Good job. <laughs> and we do have... Um, the equipment that is of the specific requirement yeah. they we're hosting for the for the women for the first one because for the men we don't have all the required equipment for the men so we will take time to get the men involved which is a very very ticklish part of our development we really want to get more male involved in the sport but equipment is is one of the things that really is kind of hindering us yeah, and another preparation question. I asked about the venue. What about the teams? Will there be any training camps? Yes, I'm glad you asked that. Well, I must um, say thanks to the ministry who has been a part of the Chinese-Jamaica agreement with, with, in terms of the sport development where this, the, this is the final year of it. And we have some of the youngsters who will be a part of the Karifta team who will be in China um, training during the summer. We also have a couple of the, the more advanced ones who, who will be going to Canada for training. And our new technical director, Tony Ann Williams, she will be coming in in July to also work on the... the she was young. an Olympic gymnast. She is, yes, she's an Olympian. She will be here and she will be working as well with the team um, the beginning of each month leading up to the championships. Yeah, Nicole, as president of, you know, this organization, what has been the most difficult aspect of your job? Oh, Lord, most difficult is funding. It's always that's the sore point. But um, we try to find strategies to work around it and not to too dwell too much on it because everybody is fighting for the same resource. Yeah. And if you wait, you will get nothing and your sport will not develop. So we try to find strategic ways of working around that, getting the parents involved a lot more, getting the whole gymnastics family to be a part of it. Yes. And we have some sponsors who have been there with us no matter what from day one, like Logo Stitch Manufacturing, the, the Jamaica Olympic Association who has brought on, on um, board with gymnastics to pair us up, uh, Mayberry Investments and Supreme Ventures who have been very, very supportive. Yes. And of course, you know, there are times when we have certain events, the Sports Development Foundation will, will drop in and help us as well. But you know, we're small, so we get the, mm -hmm. crumbs. the cat share. The crumbs. Yeah, the, yeah. what the cat can eat. Yeah, not the lion. <laughs> so we have to just work with it and make sure that it, it spread, yeah. you know. Plus, you know, gymnastics is a sport that is usually seen as a elite sport yeah. we have a lot of gymnast youngsters who are all over jamaica all walks of life and we all have to help each other but we have a family unit where those who are able to afford help the others who can so yeah. that is the kind of thing that we try to bring to the sport yeah. I, I don't think most sporting association presidents nicole would would envy you because the caribbean doesn't have a culture of gymnastics mm -hmm. as a sport so you're starting to uncover something that is not natural. Yes. So you've, you, you have a lot of work into trying to get people interested in the sport. So 
I know that has been a tough job for you, but I see the work you're doing. I, I see how many media appearances you've been making, yes, and I believe you. that a lot of it is due to your pursuing this, this dream. So I, I, I wish for your association that you will continue to, to see growth in the sport. And as a, as a Caribbean person myself, I would like to see um, the Carifta Championship being a success. And as you said, already about six teams involved, and you're looking at Cayman and, and Haiti as well. And um, I just hope that in 10 years from now, gymnastics will be in a far better place than it is now. Definitely, it will, because we have people who are, have the passion and it's not that they have interest based on having a child within the sport. There are so many persons who do not have any ch any kids involved, but they are still helping because yes. they see the passion of ex especially especially the smaller ones. And you know, once children are involved or really like a sport, it's very important that you kind of push them, try to motivate them. And the sport of gymnastics is really a base for all sport. So if yeah, flexibility, it's, agility. Yeah, flexibility, and, balance, yeah, yeah. Um, this um, decision making, coordination, discipline, everything. And yeah. if you if your child do gymnastics at an early age, they it's easy for them to branch out yes. into various different sports. Yes. And I saw that um, based on my experience with my own kid, mm. how well he does in other sports. Mm. And a lot of the other kids they're involved in track and field. I had one who, um, my child just went to run and she just beat everybody <laughs> and she has never really done track and field yes, yeah. but because of the type of training that they get yes. it kind of helps yes that's a very good their, point yeah that's and the jumps the mm -hmm. long jumps and the high jumps if you are doing gymnastics from an early age by the time you get to that point where mm -hmm. even at the elementary level it really helps yes. because it makes it sense helps with those yes. muscles yes that yes. I, I understand exactly what you're saying the biomechanics get, and so yes. on yes. I want to congratulate you Nicole because as I said your job is a tough one and I recognize that the Jamaican team has started to win some medals in regional competitions yes. and so on in the Panam region and so on. And that's where it starts. You're not going to get Olympic medalists in gymnastics so from the Caribbean, yeah, you know, at this, at this with a slap. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah. As you said, China, countries like those powerhouses in, in gymnastics, there's a lot of ground that the Caribbean has to cover. Yeah. But the start has been made, Nicole. Yes. And I'm sure we'll be talking again pretty soon because we have a couple of months to the November Curve the Gymnastics Championships and Sports Max will play our role in helping to promote oh, this event. I love this. Wow. But you would because I know you yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. Thank Sport, you. Sports Max is 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 a, is a, is a top media organization. Media, so we we've yes. got, we've got to set the pace. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> Thank Grant, you President so much. of the Jamaica Gymnastics Association, and we'll be back with more on the Sports Max Zone after this. I think Mariah has a second set of zone zone updates. Are you sure? After the break, I think so. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs>